Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 7 of The World Ends With You, the animation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Maybe, maybe not. It is time. <laughs> oh, Joshua. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes! babies. I miss Shiki and Rhyme so bad. Like, oh god, I can't wait to see him again. That's all I want. I just want to see him one more time before, you know, Neo comes out and, cause, mm, Neo comes out either next month or July. Hopefully it comes, if it comes out next month, hopefully I can buy it before I go on vacation. Come on, Naku, don't be mad. <laughs> of course. Once again, I hate math. Of course. I mean, another reason why he did it is because he was bored. Yeah. Ah, best girl. Oh, it's almost your time to shine, baby. Next week. I mean, because, like, you know, she gets little moments here and there, but, like, uh, when we get into the final few episodes... <laughs> And still sad. I won't be here when that final episode airs. Oh, damn. That's why I don't fuck with kangaroos. I, I love them. <laughs> but, <laughs> no. Oh. Once again, Joshua, why didn't you just start with that? I love you to death, boy. But, like, oh my fucking god. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh. Do not show me Shiki again. We don't. I don't want to do that. No, not anymore. <laughs> you have to keep going. They move on. Who knows, really? I know. Remember in the beginning where you didn't get people, Naku. Oh. And you come so far. Oh my god. My baby boy rocks his ventus. Yeah, it was a kid like that's gonna fuck a mark. Mm, help them. I mean, because we know Uzuki's gonna be alright, because she's in the sequel. I don't really remember from the trailers if, you know, her partner is... Uh oh. Mm. Yeah, but you guys needed help. Oh my god, it was cute. <laughs> oh, calm down. Oh, that's easy. Come on now. We got this. Hmm? Oh. God, I hate these ones. You know, I mean, because Joshua, you could just use your Jesus powers, but no. See, once again. Why didn't you start with that?
Yeah, so. Hmm. Hmm. I want to talk about the undergrowth, but, but I can't. <laughs> It's okay. You got this. Hmm? Not good. <laughs> of course. I mean, you know, he can't really tell you everything, everything, because those are big, big spoilers. But, you know, we almost there, Naku. Don't worry. You'll see. Right now. Oh. Uh. Can we get some light in here? I really don't like spiders. <laughs> uh. Oh, there we go. Oh. I mean, seriously, you can't use that all at once on all of them instead of being like, okay, here's one. Uh. Beat. Right. Oh, the hell. At least say thank you. <clears throat> I mean, damn. You know what? <laughs> Don't worry. Because <laughs> next week. <laughs> next week! <laughs>
<laughs> oh, if only you remember, baby. You're so close. Yes! Oh! I remember hating this boss too and having so much fucking trouble with it. I mean, because I, <coughs> I hate when I do that, goddammit. I, okay, I don't know how hard it was, like, on the Switch playing with it, but on the phone. On the phone. Especially when you have to flick it a certain way. Oh my god. <laughs> like, ah! God. Because I know people had, like, hella problems with the, um, the Switch port of it. Because all it really was for that port was the phone version. And everyone just said, like, kind of the controls were kind of wonky when you played it, like, on your TV. Versus playing it, like, tap screen and everything, which is usually better for everyone. It's okay, you got this. Mm hmm Remember, you got Jesus Coon over here. Well, damn. Yeah, that was a little too easy, though. But it is what it is. <laughs> well, you know, for now, until he meets up with the kids in Neo. He's your friend. Still somewhat, still your enemy. And also your boyfriend, but... I know! I know! Good job. No, of 
course. That's the way the world works, right? You use people to get to other people. Excuse me. If only I could tell you once again, like, oh, honey. Yeah, but... Yeah, he's right. One last time. Yes. Hell, I don't even remember what the fuck his third entry fee was. No, they really for okay. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got five, five or six episodes left, and uh, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and talk about this now. We know B, B is his last partner and such. If you didn't know that, I'm sorry. That it, it's just not only is it kind of obvious, but if you play in the game, you know. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be this next game is when like a lot of ish like comes like I can't really talk about other things until we get there like oh god cuz <laughs> there's there's two <laughs> there's two things I want to talk about the Joshua situation and then um Miss Shiki Diku Dude. But we ain't gonna talk about that until we get there. Technically, like even with last week going on to this week, I also gave you another clue for what the heck I just said. Because one, Joshua is OP as fuck. Okay, Psh, Jesus Coon. That is another clue about that. But you know, if you if you can't figure it out, like I said, just wait until the end of the series when we get to it because we are very close to the end of this show. But honestly, like I really <laughs> the fight and just the choreographs chor no choreography there we go mm -hmm. it was good i really liked it for a was jack uh <laughs> i can't <laughs> sacrifice <laughs> i was trying to say joshua sacrifice joshua sacrificing himself still even seeing it anime form like it's still good like oh my god because i remember crying over him like even though like joshua can be a little shit sometimes he like if you know who um Kokichi is from Danganronpa. Him and Joshua, yeah, little little fucking shits. But you, but you love that about them because sometimes like you're looking at these two both, and I'm like, I, I can't stand you. Also, you can put Komaida, Nakito Komaida in that group because yeah, all three of them. Put those three together, that is just straight up trouble. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I mean, because if you've um. If one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Nico B, who plays a lot of games and ish, like he has this little like cute little anime thing, and he voices the three, even though technically Kokichi hasn't been in the series yet, just Komaida and um, Joshua. That's just hilarious. But okay, so now that we're we're gonna call Joshua, I don't. Mm, God, how should I say this without like? Okay, we're gonna call him. For now, dead. He he's dead. Even though, like, I would love to, because, I, like I said, I also gave you the fucking answers not once but twice now. Um, even though, like, as someone who has played the game and knows the ish versus people who have not, aka who my audience of who I'm talking to, and maybe some of you have played it, um, the ones who have, we we know the truth. But right now, for now, all I have to say is Joshua is just dead, dead. Now that we're going into the final five episodes, like, number one, yes, anything can happen. Since they're not doing, I think, because the one thing I truly like about this series, um, w well, with the adaptation of how they're doing it, is the fact is, they're, number one, they're, they're not beating around the bush. If it's something like a side quest, quote-unquote, like the pinned kid who was obsessed with the pins and playing the game, 
um, like, that was important in the game. But, like, when we're trying to do a 12 to 13 anime adaptation, of course it's not going to be every little freaking detail. This is, like, kind of the same thing that I said about Persona 5 the Animation and how everybody will still currently say that Persona 5 the Animation is still one of the worst adaptation things because they didn't have anything. Because, I mean, that's, like, over an 100-hour game. So to really get, like, honestly every little fucking detail it should I, I think with the 20 20 episodes we got like it, it's for an adaptation for that it's not bad but it's not good as well so I still like to say that's still a half ass like thing I think if they ever did royal um they, I think they would really have to extend it like at least make a two curse series like make it at least like not even 24 I would have to say like maybe 50 episodes because it is a lot of shit but like that's the same thing with this because there there's so much in this series and with side quests and main story quests and then anything else in between um that no matter what who when you're playing with are really as Neku and you're getting to learn both Shiki Joshua and Beat because like I said Beat is the last person who um, makes a connection slash partnership with Neku, you get to learn more about them. Yes, with like when it was just Shiki and Neku and seeing Rhyme and Beat, you got to see like the interactions and everything. But when it's now like, uh, <laughs> God, I can't, <laughs> my fucking words. When it is Shiki and um, Shiki and Neku, you get to learn more about Shiki. When it's Neku and Joshua, you're getting to know a little bit more about Joshua. When it's Beat, and, and Neku, you're getting a little, little bit to uh, a little bit more about Beat and how, like at first, because like Beat, when I <laughs> when I played the game for the very first time, like I did not like Beat. Like I, I loved Rhyme. Rhyme was like mm, precious baby girl. I love her so freaking much. Um, but I could not stand Beat because every like oh, he just pissed me off so freaking much. And then when I got to the last game and learning a little bit more between, you know, the first game of, like, playing with Shiki and then coming back to B and seeing and learning a little bit more about him, like, I went from him being the most, like, least favorite character to being, like, one of my faves and, like, I love him so much. But honestly, because, like, the things that he will do to save his little sister, even though, like, yes, I think, because <laughs> I think from what I remember, he, he learns or he kind of says something where what he did in game two was wrong working with the reapers and stuff and trusting them and everything because there there's always a price to pay and such no matter what and, and that's like almost like any fucking anime series like hell even fucking death note is like that too and such but i mean honestly like oh god i i, I just can't wait my girl is finally best freaking girl is going to be the final boss of the well technically but not really she's like the She's like the mini boss to um that situation. But yeah, we we can't even talk about that yet. Then it's also about how um how they're going to end this, how is this going to tie into Neil because I'm still expecting like um Coco to make an appearance. She's the only one as a besides the Neo kids and everybody else who's in Neo. Coco is the only one who has not made an appearance yet. So something kind of tells me um, episodes 11 and possibly 12, I think it is the last episode for 12, um, we're going to get that one ending where Ish happens and then stuff happens to Neku and that possibly ties into Neo. I'm not 100% sure because like it seems like either from from the trailer of neo it seems like neku is a reaper now so we're trying to figure out why he's a reaper it's a possibility that you know dude who told him this is going to be the last game maybe there is another game um because i mean of course it is 
<laughs> like because the kids of Neo. So it's just still wondering how is this still going to connect with the fact is we only have five weeks left with the show. But we ain't gonna know until we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven of The World Ends With You, the animation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode eight. Bye, guys.